Hey YouTube, this is Everything you Pan here, and today I am going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 95 in VMware. Now this is um, uploaded on, I believe, the day of um, when I created my YouTube channel two years ago. So this could, this is basically the two-year anniversary of uh, Everything you Pan. Um, so I've been on this for two years I believe it was October the 21st is when I was joined I don't remember if it was 21st or the 22nd but either way I'm pretty sure it was 21st um, so and my first video was um, how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox and this one is for how to install Windows 95 in VMware and what you're gonna need to do is um, if you've not already done so you need to watch my tutorial on how to install MS-DOS 6.22 in VMware that will be linked in the description because um, you're going to need to install that first along with the CD driver in order to install Windows 95 so um, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial um, so this is my VM that um, has MS-DOS installed on it with the CD driver and when you have this installed um, by the way when you're creating your virtual machine, instead of creating it as MS-DOS, select the version as Windows 95 um, instead of MS-DOS. And uh, what you want to do after you have MS-DOS installed is you want to insert the Windows 95 ISO, um, which mine's already in there, but that will be included in the description along with the uh, product key and stuff. So what you want to do here is type in D colon, then dir to make sure setup is in here, and type in setup. Click enter. And here it says welcome to Windows 95 setup. Click continue to begin. And then it's going to do the software license agreement. Go ahead and hit yes on that. And then hit next to begin the setup wizard. Um, make sure this is the Windows directory. Hit next. It's going to check for installed components. And then it's going to check for available disk space. And go ahead and leave it as typical. And hit next. And then this is where the product key comes in. So let me enter that in quick and I'll be right back with you guys then. So now I have that entered in. And now you just need to type in a name here. Click enter. And then check both of these boxes. Click next. And now it's going to analyze your computer to check for um, your hardware devices. And then um, after that, we'll start getting into the process of um, Windows 95 installing and copying files. So once that's done, it's going to do the install the most common components here. Make sure that's checked. Click next. And then do not create a startup disk because we don't have a blank floppy. Click next. And now it's going to copy Windows 95 files to your computer. So here on the bottom it says preparing to copy files. And then it'll pop up with this window here kind of showing you some stuff um, in Windows 95 here. And then on the bottom, you get the copying files progress here. So, um, so let this sit. This process shouldn't take long, and I'll be back with you guys after it's finished. So here it is now finished, and it's ready to restart. So go ahead and click Finish, and it's going to restart. Now it says starting Windows 95. It's going to run Windows 95 for the first time. And here it's going to come up with the setting up hardware prompt. So it's going to do basically trying to detect hardware and plug and play devices. It shouldn't take too long. And now it says you must provide computer and work group names that will identify this computer. So click OK. And then I'm just going to type in Windows 95 as my computer name and do work group for the work group. 
and click close and now it's copying files from the Windows 95 CD-ROM and then now it's going to do control panel programs on the start menu Windows help MS-DOS program settings time zone and then setting a printer so this is um, this shouldn't take long so now you select your time zone here go and click close and then it's gonna ask you to set up a printer you can go ahead and just cancel that now it says setup has con finished configuring your system you must restart your computer before the new settings will take effect and then click OK to restart your computer now and it's going to reboot into Windows 95 and now it comes up to the login screen here and um, you do have to type in a username so we'll just type in I don't even know if that's in yep then just click OK you don't have to type in a password now it's going to finalize settings and there is no audio unless you try I'm pretty sure you can get VMware tools on this so what you want to do is go up to player and then manage and then install VMware tools now I have not done this in the past so I have no idea if this works or not so you're basically kinda just watching me as it goes here and I believe it looks like it's gonna work here but we'll see so it says welcome to the installation wizard of VMware tools go ahead and click next go ahead and do the um, there's typical complete and um, custom setup go ahead and just do typical click next and then click install to begin the installation and it's as simple as that it's gonna do everything else for you copy files and install a lot of other things and um, go ahead and click yes on this and click OK on this as well and then click OK here it's just telling you about stuff and then click OK on this then click finish now it's going to um, ask to do a restart so we're going to go ahead and do that let's go ahead and close this so I already reinserted my Windows 95 disk click yes to reboot we'll see if we got any audio or anything to work but this is just kind of like a first time trial thing so I'm going to click OK so it looks like VMware tools didn't really do much here there's no audio um, I'm sure you can probably mess around and try and get some audio settings to work here but uh, there you go guys that is my video tutorial on how to install Windows 95 in VMware thank you guys for watching um, leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video um, also um, share the video so other people can see it as well um, leave comments down below on what I should do next um, for my next video tutorial um, and yeah hopefully I can get to some more tutorials in the future and don't forget to subscribe once again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video